Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, I'm Sandra and on this channel we do up. <laughs> we do up, we do all things Disney. I have a up video for you today. This is a merchandise haul from Loungefly and Funko um, that are the same company and this is one of the boxes. So <laughs> if I say I went a little overboard on the new release, I went two giant boxes overboard. Um, don't come at me. I work hard. I get to spend my money on what I want. So this is what I wanted. Um, I actually, you guys, you know, Up is my favorite. And um, so I had to have it. They had so many good things. There were some things I did not get, believe it or not, um, but I got a lot. So we're gonna dive in and see. This might be a long one, I don't know. Um, there's quite a few items but they're in two boxes the first box is kind of light and you can like hear things moving around and then the other one's heavier they both say box one of one so I don't know what that means and how they shipped we're just gonna dive in I didn't even like cut it open I cut the side a tiny bit but we're just gonna go ahead and open this box I can't necessarily bring it up here because it's going to be too big to show in the camera I was trying to take a thumbnail and it was just ridiculous. I became this little tiny head behind a giant box. So we're just gonna go with it and and dive in. Um, anything I forgot to say? Well, it's the 15th anniversary of Up, and so all this merchandise is coming out. They are truly coming after me because they know I love it all. Um, I'm hoping to do a vlog very soon. There's a lot of new merchandise in Animal Kingdom, which is where the up characters generally are. It's also where um, most of the up merchandise is. Well, they have stuff in all the parks, but they do more in Animal Kingdom. Okay. Okay, this one box looks like just a couple things. And, but I'm gonna pull out the biggest thing first, because this is one of the items I was most excited about. And it's huge. <laughs> and it's a bag. Okay, but do I have to open it for you guys to even tell what it is? Let's give you a sneak peek. This is the bag. Now, I received a tote bag. Actually, let me open it because it's going to be so noisy. Get the wrapper off and then I'll come back and show you. Okay. Ooh la la. Look at this bag. So what I started to say... <laughs> I'm taking it in at the same time because I didn't even like take a chance to look at it really well before I went back to camera. This is kind of a new thing for Lounge by this style of totes and I got one recently um, from Just Sammy or Sammy over at Just Sammy Things and it was an Alice in Wonderland one. So I was so excited when I saw that they were coming out with a version for Up. I love this style. I love that it is... Ooh, that's very cool. Um, a bigger bag than a backpack. Now, it is also a backpack, which is cool. Let me turn it around. First of all, did I give you the full view? So look at the up house being just the one and only. It is the main thing here with the balloons going through the air. It is awesome. This is a giant pocket. Ooh, it has a snap on it. Oh, the inside fabric is so cool. Okay, so just a deep, Thin pocket I can show you a little bit but you won't really see much of the the fabric inside we'll try to get that on a different view oh and you've got a compass here right under that um, chimney that's very cool now these are embroidered so it's like stitched clouds there everything else is like um, painted on or in the the actual uh, full leather these side pockets this is so big it's hard for me to show this feels like rubber <coughs> excuse me I'm still recovering a little bit from a little bit of bronchitis um, but this feels like rubber but I think what it is is this texture here what would be cool if this was a little bigger to hold a water bottle but I'm not mad at it maybe an umbrella can fit in there but you've got one on each side so it'd be kind of weird because something's gonna go way down in there and I don't know how you'd get it back out so I'm not sure I'd use those pockets. I could put some straws in there. Um, what else? I don't know. A ruler? <laughs> so this is the back of the bag, what I started to say. I'm so excited. I'm just jumping all around on it. 
It is also a backpack. So it can be used as a backpack. It can be used as a crossbody or let's see, could it be a shoulder bag? Kinda. My arm's a little big for it to really be, but I can get it there. It's not bad. It's not bad really. Um, so you have several different ways to wear it. The only thing is these don't come completely off, but I wonder if this is the part that attaches here, but we'll see that in a moment if there's something inside. But definitely we can wear it as a backpack. And then you have the full picture of the balloons just attached to a compass there. And it says adventure is out there. And this is just flat, like a um, painted into the fabric, whatever you call this. All right, um, let's detach this part of the handle. I didn't do that. We'll leave the um, wrap on for right now. So I like that it kind of expands here. So we're gonna have a nice wide opening. And then, oh, look at the strap. Okay, this is the strap for the crossbody. We gotta open it. Oh, this is exciting. Look at that, the vibrant balloons. I love that. I have something similar um, from the, what's the company that makes the seatbelt bags? Harvey's. And um, it's very cool, nice, vibrant. I love that touch. So this is what we would use for the crossbody body part of the bag. So it's kind of attached right there. Okay, you guys got to see this inside lining. Ooh, there's pockets. I gotta just throw things on the floor because there's boxes here, but there are two just open pockets, no zipper pocket. But look at that lining. Can you guys see that? How fun. It's got um, the, the grape soda badge. It's got the Wilderness Explorer badge. Carl's tie. It's got the house and balloons. Carl's glasses. What's the 15? Oh, the 15 is for the 15th anniversary, duh. But this is very cool. You guys, I love this. This is a gorgeous bag, so I'm very, very pleased to have purchased this one, not missed out on it. I have no idea what the um, stock is like now. Like, I did a pre-order on these, and it was actually some weird mistake that Loungefly allowed the pre-order on the night they showed it. And I know some small shops were upset about that. And then suddenly released all of their merchandise as well. But I didn't know what was going on. I was overexcited. I had been setting aside money. I knew this was coming and I, you know, planned for it. And so as soon as I saw it was available, I was like, I am not gonna miss out. And I purchased right away. So how cute is this? My adventure book. So the wallet itself is shaped like the little um, journal adventure book that Ellie kept and recorded all their adventures in. And then the back has the Pixar label. So it just looks like that old um, scrapbook there. I love that. Even this part is embroidered with what would be the string that holds the scrapbook together. I can't talk. And then this is like the, um, the fold out card holder. So check that out. I can just fold up some cash and stick it in one of those and then everything else can be a card which is mostly what's in my wallet these days business cards or um, credit cards license etc so this is very cool and I love 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 that it matches the inside of that bag so how fun is that that's the wallet all right so one other thing in this box this giant box for these three things is set that aside is oh Okay, these are lenticular. I thought this was adorable too. So it is my adventure book, but it is a pin set. So I think we can get a better look at these pins. I'll open this up. But this is, let's see, enamel pin set. Let's get the glasses out here. I was about to pull the ears down over my eyes as if they were, I always got my glasses on the head. So it's a, a Pixar Loungefly set, enamel pin set. Um, a set of four pins. They are lenticular. So let's take the plastic off at least. This is fun. I did not realize they were lenticular. Lenticular is not my favorite. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So let's focus on this. So you got Carl and Ellie at their little wedding. And then, there we go. He's kind of dipping her. 
oh yeah, like they're dancing or he's dipping her for a kiss. So that is very cute. I love the frame, the old style of the frame. Okay, here they are again. So as kids, oh no, this is like the, aww. Okay, so it's them in their sort of um, young adults, early marriage, and then when you, how do you do this? When you turn it, it's older, Carl and Ellie. How sweet is that? All right, let's try this one. So this corner, ooh, it's just Ellie. So let's see. I gotta be able to see the camera to see what you're seeing. So there she is, I think on the mailbox. And then if we turn it, there she is a little younger in the pigtails. How cute is that? Okay, and then the one in the bottom here is Carl and Ellie older again. And then just Carl older. Interesting mix. Oh no, that's that's got Carl and Ellie on it. This is why <laughs> I don't love lenticular. Have you guys seen my nails? How cute are they? Total squirrel distraction. Look, I found somebody to do really cute Disney nails. How fun is that? <laughs> squirrel. Um, anyway, this is cute. I do really, really love the style of them. I'm not the biggest fan of lenticular, but they're up and I had to have them, so that's that. Okay, one second and we're gonna open the other box. So, I, first thing I see is the lounge fly bags that they now give you, I think over spending over a certain amount or buying a bag a certain amount, they're, you know, like dust cover bags. So we'll just set those aside. I was gonna tell you guys at the beginning of this to go grab a snack, grab a drink, cause it might be a long one. I think we're cutting through it pretty quickly, but let's take a look. Okay, this is fun. Uh, I got a shirt. This is the t-shirt print. So check that out, the balloons, the clouds, classic up. But look closely at the clouds. There is Carl in the clouds. There is Russell in the clouds. And then you also have Doug in the clouds. How cute is that? I got a huge size here. I think this is an extra large. Um, but it looks really great, really great. Look at the detail in the house and the balloons and they are all over. It looks pretty thin. Um, like from my view here, you guys probably can't tell, but it is like almost, it's not see-through at all, but I can see like the light coming through. So really nice. I do really, really love the print and definitely will get a lot of use out of that. Matches my ears. Everything's gonna match. Matches my earrings. <laughs> <laughs> because I am up crazed. So this is so much fun. Who else purchased? Did you buy from this um, release? And if you did, what did you buy? You gotta tell me. Oh, soup. There's two items. Next two items I'm gonna show you. Super unique as far as releases. Um, not things I have seen before, but I've now seen them again with other releases. Okay. You guys know I like crafts that turns into, uh, actually, I don't know if it's related, but I'm also an office supply girly. Like I love um, journals, notebooks. I like having a planner. I like having a pen or a pencil in my hands. Um, I like using journals for uh, keeping notes and to-do lists. I like having it for a Bible study, for prayer journal, things like that, um, all of that goes into my journals and sometimes they're just for fun or recording, you know, plans of how I'm going to set up my craft room or plans for a scrapbook layout. So lots and lots of uses. And this was so cool that they offered this. This is a journal again, shaped like the scrapbook, the My Adventure scrapbook. So it says My Adventure book on the front and this is all flat. Oh, not really. It's embossed here. That's really pretty. And then Carl and Ellie on the back. How cute is that? And so the, the binding is done, or at least the front looks like it has a binding. I'm going to take this tag off because that is in our way. Oh, it's just kind of sticky on there. But look at the handles. It's like a little carrying case. So it looks like a little suitcase slash uh, scrapbook. 
and then it opens up to be the journal. Oh, there's surprises in here. <laughs> you don't get to see everything. I don't know if I watched the, like, Lounge Slide does a release. They do a live on Instagram and they show all the things. I don't know if they showed every piece or I just didn't catch the whole thing. But anyway. When you open it up, so the first thing I see is there's a there, this book belongs to, and then this looks like a little pad of sticky notes, and they are made into a little book. Oh, maybe it's a thermos, so it does look like a thermos, but then the grape soda pin tag on there, and then it says inside, thanks for the adventure, now go have a new one, love Ellie, just like in the movie. Very cool. I love that you got a little pad of sticky notes here. How cool is that? <gasps> And then the pages are decorated. So on the pages, we've got the Paradise Falls change jar where they were saving. And then you've got Carl and Ellie on a little heart balloon there. And I think that's probably, yeah, throughout the whole book. And you've got, of course, the clouds there at the top. How fun is that? It's a really nice quality, um, nice lined pages. I love it. I will make good use of it. And it even has a little pen holder here so you can um it's a little elastic loop that you can slip your pen or pencil into there i'm not showing that very well but you get the idea how fun is this so so cute but check this out how cute is that you're probably saying what is it sandra it is a pencil case and um so you have if you see this is a zippered pocket and this is a zippered pocket we have a loop there to hang on to, and we have a um, clasp. So this could clip on to a backpack or, I don't know, maybe the side of my little rolling station that I um, keep some of my craft supplies in. But this is detailed just like the bag. Oop, sorry about that. These are clouds are embroidered, and then there is parts of the house that are embossed. It's mainly flat, but like here, these little divots in the roof that represent the roof tiles. And you can see some of the stitching around here. And then you have the balloons and you, you again have your lounge fly placard Pixar. And this one is rubber too. That's pretty neat. That's new. Um, I've, well, I've not seen it before on any of the bags I have. and. I wouldn't have thought it would be on a bag this size or the journal, but that's pretty cool. And then look at the back. You've got Carl there. Just another um, caricature, caricature, not caricature, another form of um, art style of Carl drawn there. Okay, so you got the little pocket and you're not gonna fit much in there. Maybe paper clips, your pencil sharpener, erasers, something like that, depending on what you use the pencil bag for. So it looks like there is a little bit of cloud lining on the inside of that. And then the back side is the bottom of the balloons. I didn't notice this. When you move this house out of the way, the balloon strings are embroidered as well. How cool. Very cool. Okay, so you got the tiny pocket. You can put an SD card in there. This could be a great little camera case, phone case, cord case. There's lots you could do with this. It does not have to be a pencil case. But... It actually has little loops in here to hold pens or pencils. And then on the other side, it's got a pocket. So you can stick little notes or things in there. And then the rest of the space is all just open space. It'd be a fun like um, glasses case as well. It could be used as a little crossbody type purse thing. You'd have to clip it onto something because there isn't a strap. But how fun is that? This is cute. I love this as a new addition. Yes, there were a bunch of items for your pets in this collection. I don't have a pet, so I didn't get any of that. So thank goodness I don't have a pet because that saved me a little money on <laughs> some of the items. There were also a few items that I just resisted figuring those wouldn't necessarily sell out real fast and therefore I could wait. Okay, two more items, I think. Yeah, just two more guys. So how many is that? Are you counting? Don't judge, remember. <laughs> okay, let's get this one open. So this is another wearable. And because of my move to Florida, I'm always so cold and was so in need of a new sweatshirt. Wrong, just kidding. I am hot here in Florida. 
and I don't know when I'm ever going to put this on, but I had to have it. It is a hoodie. So, oh my goodness, look at this. I've resisted so many of these new hoodies that are adorable from Loungefly, but this is the one. Okay, am I doing the justice? You have the entire house on the front of the hoodie. The house and the balloons make up the entire front of this. And I've seen these, when I saw the girls modeling them on the live, they were all very oversized and long. Um, I still got a big size, so I'm not sure how that'll be on me, but they definitely seem like they're gonna hang down. Some of them are wearing as dresses. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's a plunker on the sweatshirt, and it's again one of the rubber ones. How cool is that? Okay, so that's the front, the hoodie, um, string is lounge fly on it and then look at the sleeves okay let's see if we can get this <clears throat> you have this sleeve and Carl and Ellie are on this sleeve so let's see if we can put how can I show you guys hmm. let me just stick my arm in this one we'll try to flatten it out a little bit we won't do it complete justice but you'll see a little bit of Carl and Ellie with the balloons like young married couple Carl and Ellie version and the little flowers. I love that this is like the color blocking, you know, the blue and the, I'm an eighties girl. So yeah, we did color blocking. Okay, here's the other side. This is even cuter. This is my favorite little part of it. You have Carl and Russell and Doug on this sleeve, again with the balloons. The only thing they're missing here is Kevin, and you know, I haven't seen him in any of the merchandise. I wonder if we're gonna get a, like a totally separate Kevin release. That must be in the works. Are you listening, Loungefly? Because if it's not, it should be. Anyway, how cute is this? Nothing on the back, it's just the plain blue, but your sleeves are gonna be carrying over to the back, so you are having a party in the front and the back. Total awesome beautiful, soft, lovely sweatshirt that I don't know when I'll wear. Okay, give me a cold or rainy day or something, uh, Florida, so that I can put that on. Maybe I'll just turn the air conditioner in the house real high and wear it around. I lied, there's another thing in here. Okay, we'll do this before the last item. So this is a small one. I believe this is a lanyard and I just couldn't resist it because it was cute. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a lanyard, and I just dissed Kevin merchandise. This is the little wallet. So it is a card holder, and it features Kevin. How could I forget? So, so cute, and I love that this is a strap that comes down over your cards. So when you put your cards in the little sleeve, you have no worry of them falling out because you fold this little strap and secure them in. So the colors are really cute with the tan, the green, and the light blue. I don't know why I'm having trouble because I'm trying to do it backwards. Snapping that in and colorful squawking Kevin there. She's beautiful. And then the other side is the card holder for your license there. But let's see what's under that. Looks like there's some color under there. If I take the little cardboard piece out, <gasps> this is cute. Look at that. <laughs> I might not put a card in there. That is so cute. Kevin, <gasps> awesome. So I totally forgot about this item and it was sitting at the bottom of this box, very small. Okay, the last item is well wrapped. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. Okay, yep, I should have told you grab a drink because we're already so lengthy. I'll take a little bit out, but sorry, this is a long one. Okay, this bag came out in other fandoms movies, characters, and I had it on my wish list for an Alice version for a long time. I never got it, and then they came out with this one. I love it. It is the cameo version of the Up bag and characters. So you have this giant something on the front. It's a pocket. It's got a zipper there. So here you've got Doug, we've got um, Munts, we've got Russell, we've got Ellie. We've got young Carl, we've got Kevin's babies and Kevin. In the middle there, we've got the beautiful house flying over Paradise Falls. Now you have this little squished, but you have, this is gold here, and you've got a pocket. 
let's see, it's squished up. I'll have to straighten that out because I can't even open the zipper here very well. Hmm. Okay, we'll get that working in a moment. You might not get to see, this may be a dud or something's in there. All right, let's open the front. We'll come back to that and I will send it back if it doesn't work because this is half to have bag. Let's see what's in there. Oh, look, it's Carl and Ellie in their chairs. This is lenticular too. What is with all the lenticular lately? That is so adorable. That one is much better, I guess because it's so big, it works well but then you have Carl and Ellie there. So this is super cute. This is the cameo. This piece is magnetic, so you don't have to worry about snapping there. But I am concerned about this zipper. Let me try one more time. It's like it's got a little hump to get over. I did, okay, that's fine. Okay, so it's just an open pocket there. You've got the clouds and it looks like Kevin is a cloud and, and Carl is a cloud and Russell is a cloud. So it's just kind of their silhouette. And I don't know if you can see, but the whole bag has a shimmer to it. Hmm. Maybe you can see there. The whole, all the blue parts. Okay, so a little weird. Oh, I see. I had this down, so I want to show you that because if it's falling down, it's not going to stick. But even without this piece, it is magnetic and holds back into place there. And then this magnetic clasp shuts. A little bit of a wonky bag, really. Interesting. I still like the look of it. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm going with it, but I'm not sure how like functional all that is. It's not functional. It's just a picture in there, so it doesn't have to be, I guess. Okay, so beautiful blue. It's just carrying through from the sweatshirt in the first bag. I love this color. And then on the back, thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. Love, Ellie. That's always going to be a great quote and beautiful to have on the back of the bag. We've got a beautiful kind of, um, not white, but kind of a vanilla off-white placard there with the gold. And then let's take a look on the inside of the bag. This one has a pocket on the inside, not a zippered pocket, but a pocket. And then you've got more of the characters as clouds plus just regular clouds there. So, so, so pretty. I, I, I guess I'm a little not sure how I feel about it. This is really going to be just a display bag, I think, anyway. But it's interesting how dimensional it is sticking out. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it sits like up on one of my shelves or up on the big shelves that you haven't seen yet. TBD, TBD coming to you soon. I don't know why I even say that. Who knows when it's gonna come to you? <laughs> but here we go, here's the bag. So guys, that's it. That's everything I got. That's long enough, right? Thank you for sticking with me. Tell me, what was your favorite item? We have these two beautiful bags. We had the sweatshirt and the t-shirt. We had two wallets. The um, actual credit card, well, they're both card holders really, but one's a little more significant than the other. We had the pencil pouch and the journal. All fabulous items. I'm so excited. I was so excited for this release to come out. So excited that I finally got the stuff and so excited that I finally got to open it. These boxes have been sitting here for over a week waiting for me to film. Um, but we had other things we had to get out of the way. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the whole collection and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you've enjoyed this content because there's definitely gonna be more up in our future. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you on the next one.